Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kumud Dave. I am the author of my research presentation today. Now to introduce myself, I am Kumud Dave, student of Bachelor of Science at Guru Nanak Girls PG College, Udaipur, Rajasthan. So my research topic is a machine learning linear regression model to predict future Z and Panda population. Now let me introduce you all to my professors and co-authors first. Dr. Satinder Barber, he is an assistant professor at Guru Nanak Girls PG College, Udaipur, Rajasthan. And Dr. Pooja Verma, ma'am, she is also an assistant professor in the Department of Zoology at Guru Nanak Girls PG College, Udaipur, Rajasthan. It is unfortunate that due to COVID-19 pandemic, we are not physically there. Before I begin, I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to present at the 11th International Conference for today. Let's talk a bit about my paper. First one is introduction. The Zian panda is also known as panda bears and its scientific name is Alluropoda melanolusa. And they are native to South Central China. The Zian panda lives in a few mountain range in Central China, mainly in Sichuan, but also in neighboring Shangxi and Ganju. As a result of farming, deforestation and other development, the Zian panda has been driven out of the lowland areas where it once lived. And it's a conservation relevant vulnerable species. And 2007 report shows that there are only 239 pandas living in the captivity inside China and another 27 outside the country. And the Zian panda is the world's most admired and shielded rare animals. So they were able to gain an inhabitant status in UNESCO, United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. And we used machine learning linear regression technique for this research work. And the main reason behind pandas decreasing population is habitat destruction. We humans are taking over their lands for our development. Second one is literature review. Linear regression is a statistical model that explores the linear relationship between two or more variables. Our study was conducted to predict the future population of Z and Panda by which we will become aware and prepare for future challenges. Nowadays, modern researchers also use machine learning to predict using modeling approaches and parameters to improve accuracy and precision of the model. Third one is problem statement. Z and Panda become endangered in 1990 because of excessive poaching and deforestation. Expansion of farm development caused fragmentation of pandas habitat. And a large area of Zian panda's habitat has already been extinct for timber and fuel wood. And the Zian panda has been a target of poaching by locals since ancient times and by foreigners since it was introduced to the West. And starting in the um, 1930s, foreigners were unable to poach Zian panda in China between the Second Sino-Japanese War and the Chinese Civil War. But panda remained a source of software for the locals. And the population boom in China after 1949 created stress on panda's habitat and sequence families lead to the increased hunting of the wildlife including pandas. And during the cultural revolution, all studies and conservation activities on the panda were stopped. In 2006, scientists reported that uh, the number of Zian panda living in the wild may have been underestimated about 1,000 and the previous population survey had used conventional method to estimate the size of the wild panda population. And as the species has been reclassified to vulnerable since 2016, the conservation efforts is thought to be working. And State Forestry Administration of China announced that they would not accordingly lower the conservation level of four pandas and would instead reinforce the conservation efforts. And the 
Zine panda is among the world's most adored and protected rare animals and one of the few in the world whose natural inhabited status was able to gain a UNESCO World Heritage Site destination. Not all conservationists agree that the money spent on conserving panda is well spent. Chris Peckham has argued that the breeding of panda in captivity is pointless because there is no enough habitat to sustain them. But they are wrong. I want to tell them that this species is not just known for adorable cuteness, but it also helps to keep their mountain forest healthy by spreading seeds in their droppings, which will help vegetation to thrive. And the panda's forest environment is also important for local peoples like us, for food, income and fuel, for cooking and heating. Fourth one is objective. The major aim is to develop a strong model for predicting the population of CN panda and save them from future trouble. This model should predict panda's population based on given information and parameters like uh, annual rainfall, bamboo population and habitat loss, deforestation and human influence etc. This study is vital to enhance the population of CN panda in China. Fifth one is case study and data description. Data for this study consists of several parameters like population of CN panda, bamboo population, annual rainfall in China, carbon stock in bamboo stems and deforestation and human influence. So in first figure we have the graph between annual rainfall in China versus population of CN panda. Here we have the population of Zian panda data on uh, y-axis and the annual rainfall data on x-axis. We can see that the annual rainfall in China increased with a decrease in Zian panda population because an excessive amount of rainfall causes many disease and harm to Zian panda like acute gastroenteritis and chronic gastroenteritis and cold and pneumonia etc. Acute gastroenteritis occurs when food and water is uh, contaminated with the pathogenic microorganisms or their toxins are consumed. And chronic gastroenteritis occurs when your stomach lining become inflamed. Cold most likely uh, to have a rainy and stuffy nose that is generally occurs in a rainy season. And pneumonia is an infection that inflamed your lungs, air sacs, and air sacs may be filled with uh, fluid and pus. So, due to all these factors, the population of CN panda decreased with increase in rainfall. As the rainfall keeps on increasing, the population of CN panda is getting discrepant. That's why rainfall in China somewhere affects the population of Saint Panda. In figure 2, we have the graph between carbon stock in bamboo stems and the population of Zian Panda. Data of uh, carbon stock in bamboo stems on the x-axis in TGC unit. TGC unit is a teragram of carbon that is equal to 1012 grams. In figure 2, we can see that uh, carbon stock in bamboo stems is increased with decrease in Zian panda population. Carbon stock in bamboo population increase because of rainfall and the rainfall is high then the harvest will be good. But excessive rainfall cause many seasonal disease in the Zian panda. So the carbon stock in bamboo stems indirectly affects the population of Zian panda. So here in figure 3 we have the graph between bamboo population versus population of Zian panda. So here we have uh, the data of population of Zian panda on the y-axis and the bamboo population data on the x-axis. 
In figure 3, the population of Zayn Panda gradually increase with increase in bamboo population. When bamboo population is at the peak, then there will be no shortage in diet of the Zayn Panda. Then they were able to rise themselves well. Initially, when the population of Zayn Panda was 2600, at that time the population of bamboo was 3.25 million hectare. Later, as the bamboo population increased, population of Zayn Panda also increased gradually. So, in figure 4, we have the graph between deforestation versus year. So, we can see that the deforestation is continuously decreased day by day. So, this is our positive side that now China's government is aware about this deforestation problems. China government was trying to stop the deforestation. So, today we have the positive data in front of us. In figure 5, this is the graph between human influence and the population of Zayn Panda. Here we have the data of Zayn Panda population on the y-axis and the data of human influence on the x-axis. We can see that uh, as the human influence increasing day by day, the population of Zayn Panda decreasing. But China government is trying many ways to control their country's population. The country had feared that uh, population growth was hindering economic development. So, in 1979, the Chinese government implemented birth control programs and offered economic incentives to families with fewer children. Sixth one is the model used for forecasting. In this study, we used multiple linear regression model of machine learning. Multiple linear regression model needs more than one independent variable and one dependent variable. Here in this model, we have five independent variables like bamboo population, annual rainfall in China, deforestation, human influence, and carbon stock in bamboo stems. And the one dependent variable that is population of Cien Panda. Multiple linear regression is a statistical technique that uses many explanatory variables to predict the outcome of the dependent variable. The relation between dependent and independent variable is presented by the following equations and formulas in the next slide. So here are the formulas which we use to build our multiple linear regression model. So the first one is formula for simple linear regression in which we have one independent variable that is x1 and one dependent variable that is y and b0 is a intercept and b1 is a slope coefficient and because this is a formula for linear regression so in this formula we need only one independent variable as we move towards the multiple linear regression we need more than one variable to proceed further. So, in this formula, we have x1, x2, and xn number of variables. And here are the formula to get uh, b1 and b0. And the last one is r squared formula by which we can calculate our model's accuracy. Seventh one is methodology. We developed a machine learning multiple linear regression model with actual Zayn Panda population data from the year 1970 to 2020 and extrapolated to predict population growth till 2050. By this uh, future prediction, we will be aware and prepared for future trouble and be ready to make more efforts to increase Zayn Panda population. Like China has tried hard to predict and protect their lovely Zayn Panda population. Most Panda conservation work has involved protecting their habitat and making laws to punish hunters and smugglers. On 5th September 2016, 
the IUCN, International Union of Conservation of Nature, announced that uh, the Zian panda had been removed from the endangered list and now their new designation is vulnerable. We used Google Colab and MATLAB machine learning tool for this research work and we drew the scatter plot between dependent and independent variables by Python scripting and uh, the most important work to save the zine panda is to protect their habitat without this panda could only survive in captivity and China government has set 13 panda nature reserves areas. According to the government research in 2015, habitat for Zian panda has grown by about uh, 2720 km square. China government established laws and penalties to protect Zian panda from hunting and smuggling. The law states that panda hunting and smuggling carries a minimum jail sentence of uh, 10 years. Results and discussions. Our goal of this work was to predict the next 30 years of CN panda population by using the trend model. On the basis of independent parameters, values gathered from different research papers from various journals, we predict the population count of 2025 will be 2870 with 96% R squared value. With 96% accuracy, there will be near 4192 pandas population in 2045 and nearly 4480 population of CN panda in 2015. This train model performs well on the task of projecting and predicting population estimates. So here are the references of another research papers from various journals which we used to predict our next 30 years pandas population. Thank you for watching my research presentation and hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot.